Thank you for tuning in to another edition of Pre-Market Pulse Scan. Today is Friday, November the 3rd, 2017, better known as Take Back Friday. Take Back Friday is a phenomenon in markets. If the market has been up all week, then you can expect for the market to pull back. If the market has been down all week, you can expect for the market to catch a bounce. Well, in order to meet that criteria, you have to have at least three or four days, preferably four days in a row, in one direction. Taking a look at the overnight markets, you have the Dow up 45 at 23,489. It got just shy of 24,000. Five, I'm sorry, 23,500. It got to 23,494. The e-mini NASDAQ 100 is up 22 and a half at 62.58 quarter. E-mini S&P 500 is up two at 25.78 and three quarters. The Russell is up 10 ticks at uh, 14.96.20. The natural gas is up one cent at $2.95. Gold is down three dollars and thirty cents at twelve seventy four eighty. Silver is off three cents at seventeen dollars and ten cents. Oil is up seventeen and a half cents at fifty four dollars and seventy two and a half cents. Strong bond is down two thirty seconds at one fifty three thirteen. Beans are down two and a half at nine ninety six and three quarters. Euro is off eighteen pips at one sixteen seventy. The pound is up 18 pips at 130.96. Aussie dollar down 49 pips at 76.64. And the U.S. dollar is up 10 pips at 94.78. Just shy of that 95 handle, it got to 94.83 in the overnight market. Taking a look at the pulse waves, let's see what we got here. All right, so looking at our alerts for today, starting off with our overbought ticker symbol IPO, Renaissance IPO ETF is showing overbought. As far as momentum shifts from bullish to bearish, we have the Aussie dollar, we have FXA, which is the equity counterpart of the Aussie dollar. We have GDX and we have HQH. As far as crash alerts for the day, we have Walmart, we have US Steel, we have the US dollar index, ticker UUP, we have the S&P 500, SPY, we have Nike, we have the regional banking, KRE, the yen, JP Morgan, IBM, the euro yen, and we also have the e mini SP 500. We have dry ships, we have the Canadian dollar, Bank of America, Amazon, the SP 500 cash index, and the US dollar index, all showing over, um, crash alerts for the day. We'll see if they manifest by watching the intraday price inflection points. As far as rally alerts, all right, we have starting with SLV, TLT, Silver Spot, Nintendo, Adidas, Equifax. We have the uh, Japanese Yen Equity FXY. We have the the Junior Silver Miners and Silver Miners ETFs, SIL and SILJ, Euro Currency, Gold Futures, Silver Futures, First Majestic has a rally alert. And we also have one in Chipotle and the Euro and on FXC and FXE, which is the, uh, the Forex counterpart on the equity side, the ETFs. GDXJ has a rally alert, GLD. Uh, IYR, the real estate ETF, JNUG, uh, NASDAQ, NDAQ, OIH on the oil, 
We have Global Uranium URA. We have Gold Spot. Natural Gas Futures. AutoZone. Uh, the Chinese Yuan and CYB. And last but not least, XIV with a rally alert. So it's showing that the stock indexes or remain, they remain very much intact. Very much so. So it looks like they could, they should be catching a bid today. But now remember now, it is Friday. So it's take back Friday. I don't necessarily expect for the stock indexes to rally today, but they may not really pull back all that much either. It may just take a breather from here. You know, not too much price action in one direction or the other. Um, also, watch out for those false washouts because you'll get a washout and then nothing really will become of it. So you want to watch out for those too. All right. And with that said, that's pretty much all I got for right now. Pretty much all I got. So we'll keep our eyes and ears open to see how these markets close today. Pay attention to those price inflection points because they are very much real. And anything that's going to jump off, you'll catch it just by watching those price inflection points. And with that being said, remember, seven-day free trial at PulseWaveTrading.com. Take advantage of that. And also, remember, don't be too greedy. I know Bitcoin rallied again in the overnight markets. I know that uh, Bitcoin hitting, flirting with that 7,300, 7,400 level. Don't be too greedy. Remember, bulls make money. Bears also make money. But pigs get slaughtered. Do not turn winning positions into losing positions because you failed to use the proper stop or you failed to take some profits along the way. And with that being said, everyone have a great day. And I'm out. Peace.